Okay, well, we're looking at our Space Invaders style game here. Excuse that score wandering around with the player there, but you'll notice that the player can actually disappear off the screen, and that's the default behaviour. But I actually don't think it makes for very good gameplay, because if the enemy's raining death down on me, I can just hide off the side of the screen and pop out and attack them, and stuff like that. I don't think it makes it very challenging at all. Here are some alternatives. So they all use the same action, at least I think they do. So uh, player object, I'm going to say that at the event that we need intersects the boundary. You could also use outside room, but intersect boundary actually um, gets triggered first. So one thing you could do is you could make it bounce off the side. This is probably the most common one. And let's just see what that looks like in person. So I'm moving towards the side. I hit it and I do a bounce because I've got that momentum and it inverts my momentum and throws me across. So that's one of your options that you might want to do. Another thing that you might want to do is you might want to have poison walls. So you actually say to them, you know what, if you hit, you can hit the wall if you want, but it's going to cost you. So if you do that, then I'm going to restart the level. Now I'm not going to demo that, but it's pretty easy to understand what it does. If I'm silly enough to touch the edge, it restarts the room. Particularly if you want a nice challenging thing, I think that's a good one. If you want something a little bit less challenging, I don't know about this one, but you can in fact just say, go back to your starting point. So that when they touch the wall, it will just throw them back to where they are. I feel like a clever player could use that as a get out of jail free card, so that if they're in trouble, they could just run to the wall and get put back in the middle of the level. So that could be used any old way you wanted. Another one that you could use, and I'll just delete that, is this one here where you jump to a specific location so it's not necessarily the starting location but you can jump them to somewhere and the last one which i think is a well it's definitely a possibility is that you can jump to a random location now that's not oh sorry that's not random location let me try that again that is random location I don't really love that because particularly you could end up anywhere in the game. You don't know what your gameplay is going to be, particularly on something where you've got a restricted movement. But I guess in the thing where you could be anywhere on the screen, you might want to just teleport them to somewhere else. So there are your options for keeping your player on the screen.